Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams on anything and everything data analytics. So today we're going to talk about how to come count the number of rows and columns in a CSV file. Let's hop over to the code, see what it's all about, and see how this can help you in your, any of your work or projects. Right, um, welcome back. And uh, we're going to talk today, um, as disclosed in the outset of this video, about how to check the number of rows and columns in a CSV file. So here on the screen, uh, we have a file and it basically has seven columns, okay, which matches here to back to the output of the code we've written to show you this and basically has 10 rows, so 10, 10 rows. Okay, now the reason before we look at the code, the reason what you might do with this is there could be a scenario where you're moving data um, between tables and what you might do is do dump it out in the CSV file and then re-import into a separate table and as a result you need to make sure that the number of rows and columns that you've dumped out and re-import it, uh, it exactly matches. Now just the caveat it doesn't look this code doesn't look at the column headings and it doesn't look at the actual values in the record rows it just literally looks at the number of columns and the number of rows that you've exported and re-imported um, in, into the CSV file. So let's have a look at the actual code that gives this output here, okay? So I'll just close this here for you. Don't need that. So to start off, we're well, going to use, we've done this in a number of other videos, we're going to do import pandas as PD. That's, just, that's standard. And if you've been to any of my other videos, you'll see that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a data frame and I'm going to tell it to read in the CSV. So it's called the CSV import here. Uh, underscore import CSV and it's here but if we go back here you'll just see it's this file here it's the exact same file and that's the file we're literally just in there a second ago so let's go back here so uh, probably the most important bits of this code which will help us to kind of get the information we want for this output is total rows and total columns so essentially what is happening here is we've created a variable called total rows we'll start with that and it's basically creating the length. It's basically counting the length of the, the access. So it's going to df.access0 and 0 here signifies the rows. Okay, so all it's doing here is basically counting the length of the rows so it gets to the last column and then, or last row should I say, apologies, and basically says, okay, we've got the last row, the next row is empty so we won't count that. Okay, so it basically counts those number of rows. So in this instance when it ran that logic, it counted 10. Basically then, it does the same thing for columns. What it does is it uses the df.axis again. And in this scenario, we use one, and one is for one, sorry, that should be one there. One is for a column, okay? Um, so essentially, what happens here then is obviously it starts top left-hand corner and says, right, um, I'm gonna count across until I get the last cell, cell with a value in it, and then I'll stop there and I count all those cells. And then that's the number of columns we're importing. Okay, so as you can see, it's number seven. So it's basically saying you have 10 rows and seven columns. Next thing, uh, very straightforward, is printing. It's basically printing number of rows and um, it's basically string total rows. So it's basically converting the output of this into a string. And then it's also doing the same again for number of columns and basically creating the number of columns as a string. Okay, and when you run that logic, you basically get this. So that's how you would very quickly and very crudely calculate the number of rows and columns in, if you're importing a CSV file. Hope you enjoyed this today. Um, plenty more videos coming soon with more on Python, SQL, Tableau, uh, data visualization. Uh, they're currently in the we're in the mix of making those videos. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe with the like button. Thanks for coming along and popping by. Hopefully see you soon and look after yourself. Bye bye.